Uh, so let's jump into this. This is round of 32 between Etty and Gecko, and we're jumping in on Etty to begin with. And look at that spawn. He just dives on by. He's like, see ya, grabs the Mega, gets out of there. That was sly. Yeah, that, I think I like the decision of uh, Etty to go straight to the LG. He could have stayed to take the, you know, the red, but he might have taken a lot more damage than he should have. So right now he's in a good position, got Shaft and Rail. And he should just take, you know, keep positioning till the next red comes up and then rush over to, uh, rush over to the mega health. And look at that, he, he actually decides to, to say, screw you, you, Issue, your advice sucks. I'm just going to dive in for the uh, for the kill. And well, he, he does like it. Like I said, Edgy is very aggressive. And look at this Gecko. Oh, bad weapon choice. But uh, Edgy still should get this. At least uh, really damage Gecko in this uh, process. And that was Eddie. interesting, the yeah. weapon choice there. Eddie has a great control on the items. I mean, uh, he even thought about the second yellow, and now he can get the red. And there's nothing up, nothing up for Gecko for at least a, you know, 15 seconds. So it's going to be really tough, really, really tough for him. And here we go. Eddie's going to dive in through the mega back onto the red area, just trying to see if he can find Gecko because he just wants to get at him right now for a fight. And there it is. Look at that. It's exactly what he does with the rocket jump. Gecko taking heavy damage, but Eti in his aggression kind of left up the Mega. He will get the frag, but I can't help but think that could have been a Mega for Eti. And, but I mean, he does go up. If he can stabilize here, I guess it will be fine. And it looks like he does spot exactly where Gecko is. That should give him a, a pretty good advantage here. Uh, Gecko only able to get one yellow. If Eti can land a bit of damage now, that would be so very nice for him. And it's going to kind of debilitate Gecko completely. Oh, what a catch right there with the LG. Nice. nice. Ooh, that's uh, looking not very promising for Gecko, who's constantly rushing in, really trying to do, you know, as much damage as he can. But we're quite early in the game. We might want to, you know, try that for, for quite some time. But, ah, uh, I mean, I've seen Evil play against uh, Pavel on this map. And when you're really strong in control and you're circling, you know, at least three items, it's so hard uh, to come back, really. And, and it's... It's also kind of easy, really, you know, there are quite a couple of choke points and maybe the, the upper yellow is a bit, uh, the lower yellow is a bit to rest. But let's just look at uh, Gecko, it's actually hitting quite decent and Ati is running out of shaft ammo, um, receiving a lot of damage, but still, he's in the control, he's got the, the items and the weapons. Yeah, really clutch rail there that actually secured in the mega health. Had he not hit that? Um, he would have been really screwed. And Gecko's trying to screw him over anyway, but Etty is just hitting rails. That is that is not really necessarily a reliable strategy, but it's working out for Etty right now. And he's five to minus two. So Gecko is seven down. That is pretty dramatic. This is, this is Gecko's chance. Uh, Etty should really not be that aggressive, but I think oh he really God. wants it. Oh, come on. It's all about the next mega, but Gecko should really try to rush in. I mean, 10 HP, but uh, he was afraid of uh, get, getting hit by a rail, although he had enough HP as it was. Yeah, hard situation for Gecko to call, but maybe... I don't know. This it is it was the of... safe decision. I mean, the red armor was up, so it was just, you know, why, why should I be aggressive right now? But Eti does the right thing once again. I mean, Gecko doesn't have a rail. Uh, I can't enable my weapon spar, but I'm pretty sure he has a rail. <laughs> Where is the weapon bar to be? CG weapon bar. Weapon bar. And there you go. But Etty, he's looking for that shot, hits it again. He's really connecting with these rails. Another connection as well. This is really hard for Gecko right now with all these rails being connected by Etty. I feel like he's actually connecting kind of an unusual amount of rails at the moment. If Gecko is quick, I mean, he could, he could uh, do, deal a lot of more damage on the second yellow. Ouch. No, but he eats the, ra uh, the, 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 the rocket straight in the face and now has to go away because he can't get the, the, uh, the, the red. And look at those rails, man, through the grid. Those are always lovely. And it feels like Etty's definitely playing on confidence right now with some of the engagements he's taking, like the choices he's, he's taking with the rail. It just screams, I feel good right now. And Gecko's going to grab oh, that mega. Push in. He could have switched over to the rail uh, just right at the peak. Um, but uh, Gecko should have, could have definitely dealt more damage in that situation. And Etty's got to be careful here. If he's playing too far out of his regular game just because he feels confident, things could really unravel very quickly. And he's very low. There's no 25 there. The 50 is far away. 
Gecko has a um, to get back in the game right now. Yeah, Gecko should morning. stay on this level here. He shouldn't drop down too 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 early and just try to figure out where where Gek uh, where Etty is. And Etty is nowhere near. He's smart not to be there. Uh, you know, not trying to do receive unnecessary damage given the situation that Gecko has like full control. And let's see what Gecko can do with uh, with with his control right now. Yeah, definitely looking very strong for Gecko. He's got to make this into a frag. Absolutely nothing else can happen other than Gecko getting a frag and continuing to run this control right now. And he's got to get a bit more aggressive. He's, he, he can burn some stack right now. He can burn some of that because he's still going to be taking the big items. He's going to catch Eti unawares. There goes Eti onto the lower level. He does get dropped by Gecko. Wonderful stuff there. Almost loses nothing for yeah. that frag. That is perfect. He's just going to keep That's this going. Also, also nice what Gecko did was that little rocket jump um, because he had to speed up because he because Eddie could have spawned near the Mega Health. So really, Gecko just controlling both major items, making it really hard for Eddie to get any items. And I've seen that rail. Gecko cannot really afford to miss too many shots, and there. Etty's managed to grab hold of a rail. Uh, that Gecko should be careful. He might receive a rail here if, if Etty is nearby. Oh, Etty is actually going aggressive. That's what I mean. He's going in with a rocket straight away. And actually turning him down just because he was there. You know, he had the, had the uh, better positioning in, in the beginning. And Gecko was just really a bit too slow on the decisions. And once again, gets another frag. 7 to minus 1. And uh, some uh, discussions about... Uh, Rockets, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Gecko not impressed with the rockets of Eti. But I'd be I'd be more annoyed about the rails that Eti's been hitting. He's been really connecting very well with a lot of the rails. And generally speaking, that was really how he got to that situation. Five to minus two. At that point it felt like Gecko had a big in into the game. And here he goes. He's gonna get absolutely demolished by the rockets again of Eti. And Eti he is just in control of every aspect of this game. He's pretty low, though. I mean, one bad rocket is all it takes to really yeah, now he's, cripple him. Because he dropped down, he's below 80 HP, and now Eti, well, he's going to win that chef fight. Going to get the, the red. Uh, going to get the upper upper yellow as well, and Gecko is only left with the rocket and the shaft. But at least he has got, he's got a rocket and a shaft. That's something he can definitely use to, you know, protect himself. Oh, and Eti actually didn't go for the higher yellow. And Gecko's dropping down. Obviously not the best decision. Yeah. He's receiving too much damage on the fall down. And once again, he's just uh, trying to get at least one frag before the game closes. And again, Eti looks so calm and confident under the pressure from Gecko. Even, you know, when he's just back against the wall, he's only got a rail. And you got like that tells you, okay, I have to hit this shot. He's still he's still just so calm and confident. And that really says everything. I mean he knows he's won at this point. It, I, there's no real way that Eddie's gonna give away eleven frags in two minutes. And here goes another rocket fight over the mega health. And of course Eddie wins it again and does pick up the mega too. So things are looking very smooth for Eti, and his chances in this tournament, of course, are going to be pretty good. He's going to move into the round of 16 after he wins this one, as we're currently in the round of 32. And I have to say, you know, we could get another evil Cypher final today, because oh, they're yeah. both playing. That'll be great. Yeah. Uh, some some people said it or called it on ESR, Cypher evil final, but uh, Cooler sign up as well. Mm. And Pavel, sure. and Agent. And Pavel as well, so we've got a really nice mix here. Definitely. And it's quite interesting because there is that argument, ah, oh, it's always Evil Cypher, but then again, the games that can be so awesome between them, so, like, I just, I can never complain about it, because it's always so interesting. Whoa, nice frag, what a from rail! Those Norwegian internet, I must have. <laughs> yeah. Although I can't really speak about that because I this is a hundred hundred line here, so it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Feels like LAN actually. Even when yeah. I'm playing in Germany, it feels like LAN. We have to play some time, dude. Yeah, we are you, are you playing a lot right now? Well, not really that much because I don't have much time, but I try to stay uh, between 100, 1,800 ELO and like 1,950 ELO. Oh, yeah. It's like when I haven't played a while, I lose a lot of, you know, games and then I get better again. Yeah. So what stage are you in now? Are you in the, I haven't played and I'm losing? Uh, no, or? well, I'm, I, I used to be, or uh, a couple of days ago, I used to be lost in a, in a rage mode, so I quit a lot of games. <laughs> but I'm actually, um, 
I, I just enjoy really hard games as well. It just really depends. Yeah. If you lose because the opponent is better than you, it's fine. But if you lose because you feel that you could play better, it's just uh, it's a bit of a mental thing, really. Definitely. Um, it, it's, it's not really what makes you happy, is it? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, the, the worst thing, like, even if I make mistakes, I'm like, all right, I made the mistake. But if it's mm. like, oh, I made the mistake that I've made before, I feel like an, a complete retard. Because it's like, well, I should have learned. If, and if you're not learning, it makes you feel really dumb. So I don't know. That's, that's what depresses me the most, even if I'm losing. But that's going to mean that Eti does move onwards onto the round of 16. So guys, stay tuned for more Quake Live action here, live on Face the TV. We'll be right back.